Forget all of the millions of things that you're reading about and you're hearing listed off that you're gonna need for uni. These are 10 things that you most definitely will need. Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know, my name is Lottie and I'm a first going into second year medical student at the University of Leeds. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about 10 things that you actually need for medical school. And my cat just walked across the floor. So if you heard little footprints, that's what it was. Anyways, aside from a good sense of humor, a very strong stomach for anatomy and very good intrinsic motivation, Here's the top 10 things that you need to make sure you remember for your first or second or third or fifth or sixth year of medical school. The first thing that I cannot stress enough that you need for medical school is a laptop or an iPad that is reliable and does not crash. Especially with online learning, this is so crucial. So just make sure that you get diagnostic tests run on your laptop or iPad. Um, just make sure it's up to date, it's got enough storage, maybe you have an external hard drive or something if you want to put old stuff onto that, but just make sure you've got lots of storage for all those lecture notes. The second thing that is absolutely essential for medical school is a good online revision resource that includes past paper questions. So I didn't use this last year and honestly I really regret not revising this way because it's so much more efficient to just start doing questions from the get-go. So the revision resource that I'm going to be using this year and I would highly highly recommend it is Past Test. So Past Test is a great resource that gives expanded explanations, it has tailored content for your medical school, the level of difficulty that you want. So basically you put in your graduation year and then it knows exactly what content for or your medical school that you need to go through you can revise from it it has expanded explanations and shorter explanations and one of the things that I particularly love is their spot test questions so it shows a picture with um, like a symptom or something and then you can practice your ability to diagnose based on the pictures they also have new things coming in such as searchable content and flashcards which I just think is like it can't get better than that really a med student loves a good flashcard and we love a good question bank and Pass Test has it all. So I would highly recommend checking out Pass Test. I have a discount code for 15% off, which is Lottie15 and I will pop a link in the description for you to check out. The third thing that is essential for med school is a really good note taking app or flashcard creating app. So I'm sure you've heard of a few of these such as Quizlet, Anki, Notability, Good Notes, Notion, all of those are amazing resources. I love to use OneNote for making notes on during lectures and then I was making my flashcards with Anki and then sometimes dipping into Quizlet as well. Honestly, I'm thinking of converting to Quizlet this year just because I really like the little games that you can play and it makes it more engaging. But I am still torn because I love the Anki features as well. If you want a more in-depth video about the differences between Quizlet and Anki, I'm happy to make that as I have used both of them throughout school and into medical school. I would really recommend that before you start medical school, you have an idea of how you're going to take your notes, if you're going to do notes or flashcards, and what app you're going to use just so it can be all installed and ready to go and you don't have to spend those first couple of weeks trying to work out how to use it. The fourth thing is something that your university may have told you about or they may not have, but I believe it's the same for most unis that you'll need to get yourself a lab coat. Try and get this ordered early so that you're ready to go when you have your anatomy lessons. Hopefully you'll get emailed this if you do need to buy it yourself, um, but it's just something to look out for and keep in mind. We got sent a link to one on Amazon and so far my Amazon lab coat seems to be doing fine, albeit a slight smell of the anatomy lab lingers on it. The fifth thing is very much related to getting a lab coat and that's making sure that you have a padlock. Chances are you'll get given a locker in the medical school building where you can put your lab coat in so that you don't have to keep taking it home for anatomy and probably your bags as well because obviously you can't take those in the anatomy lab. The sixth thing that is a med school essential is getting yourself a stethoscope. However, I'm going to stress that you should get this after you start med school because in Freshers Week, you'll get given loads of discount codes and various things to get yourself maybe 20% off your stethoscope. So wait until you start, get those discount codes and then order it. Obviously, if you've already ordered it, that's fine and it just means you're one step ahead. But if you haven't, hang in there. 
The seventh med school essential is absolutely crucial and you're going to be thankful if you invest time and money into finding the perfect ones and that is closed toe comfy shoes that you can walk around for hours in. When you're on placement you're going to need to have closed toe comfy shoes and honestly I would recommend spending a little bit more money just because you're going to be wearing these all day every day every time you're on placement. So the shoes that I have are the Doc Martin just normal like school shoe type ones and they're really good they're not slippy at all i know that some people prefer to wear trainers and as long as that's fine with your placement provider and your uni then that's fine i think the rules for leads is that we can wear like dark colored trainers i may be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's the rule and i'm sure it's very similar in most places but make sure you find that out before you end up spending loads of money on a pair of trainers that you can't actually wear the eighth thing that is a med school essential is getting yourself a really good planner. I know there's some med school specific planners that I've seen around. I personally just like to have one that's got like the pages with all of the dates on, if that makes sense. Like a calendar and then it's got the planner afterwards so you have, you can write revision plans and all that stuff and get a nice big overview of the month. That makes more sense calling it overview of the month and then you have like the individual days where you can write all your to-do lists. The final two med school essentials are more about the online learning side of medical school and probably things that you haven't really thought about and that is ensuring that you can sustain yourself through three to four hours of lectures with one, a coffee flask. This is something I completely forgot about and I ended up going out and buying one straight away because I need my coffee and especially if I'm going to be sat in a lecture for three hours without a substantial break. Having a good flask that kept my coffee warm all day was so crucial. And the second thing is definitely good for online learning and that's ensuring that you have some kind of stash of snacks or a coffee machine or a kettle within reach of your desk so that when you're sat at your desk in front of your lectures especially if you've got to put your camera on in them, you can be sneaking a snack and if you mute yourself, you can pop the kettle on. And I did that many times and honestly, it was a life saviour having my coffee and tea stash in the corner and then I had a shelf right next to my desk dedicated to snacks and sweets and it kept me going and it just made those really long days of lectures so much more bearable so do what you can to make it enjoyable and if that means having a kettle on your desk then you've got to do it got to do what you got to do so there we have it my top 10 med school essentials that i really do think that you need and please do if you have any questions or you can think of any other essentials pop those in the comments or reach out as I said if you have any questions or just want to chat you can message me on Instagram which is Lottie Stoll with three L's or in the comment section below and I will happily have a chat with you please do take care and all the best for medical school thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day <laughs>